Hello, my name is Craig. I am part of Comic-Con's volunteer staff. I am part of the guest relations team. I've been going to Comic-Con since, I'm going to guess around 2003 or so. And I've been volunteering since probably about 2007. I don't know, it's been a long time. I've been going for a while. Hard to keep track after all of these years. So what I'm going to show you today is how to build something cool with Lego. Now, if you're like me and you watch a lot of other, like, building Lego videos online. It's like, oh, build this. I'm gonna show you how to build this. And then it takes like a hundred different pieces. They have to be put in this exact right spot. They're all rare pieces that you probably don't have in your Lego collection or have to like spend a bunch of time sorting through to find. And I don't wanna do that, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to build this really cool crossbow. It's super simple, okay? If um, there are any pieces in it that you don't have, I'll try to explain as I'm going what I'm trying to accomplish with it and maybe give you a few ideas on what to use instead. Okay? That way, hopefully, everybody can build this thing. Okay? That is my goal, to have every one of you building one of these awesome crossbows here. So to build the crossbow, this is going to be all the pieces that you need. Um, if you're missing one or two of them, that should be okay as I go through the steps Later, I'll kind of give you alternatives and explain what's going on. So maybe you can come up with alternatives yourself. So the first thing is that we're going to need two of these long Technic bricks. Okay, these ones are 16 studs long. We're going to need two studless beams also. Uh, one of them we're going to want to be close, at least close to as long as our two Technic bricks. Uh, and then the other one, at least kind of long, it's going to be our bolt when we actually fire our crossbow. And then we're going to need... Uh, two of these long pins, they're three studs long, uh, two bushings, two axles that are at least kind of long. They don't have to be super long. Uh, then we have two of these axles. They're going to be three studs long. They can be a little bit longer if need be. Uh, this is the one piece that I'm a little bit worried you might not have. So on this side, you can kind of see there's a pin hole. And then if you look on the other side, there's two um, axle holes. If you don't have that, we'll kind of go over some alternatives. Uh, then we have four shorter Technic bricks. I like to use ones that are three holes um, across, so four studs wide, and a and then a rubber band. So that is all that you need to build this. All right, so let's get into how to build this thing. Okay, so what we're going to start with is you're going to need your long studless beam. Hey, this one's going to be the one as long as those Technic bricks we're going to use. And you're going to need those two long pins as well. And what we're going to do, we're just going to stick these pins all the way through. So you can kind of see one end of the pin is hanging out of each side. You might also notice I skipped the first hole. You're going to want to do that too. And we're just going to do that on both ends here. Okay, I'm doing just like that. Okay, And all we want here at this point is to have a pin sticking out of both sides. Okay? So if you don't have these long pins, you only have regular short pins, you can do like a pin on this side facing out and then another one on this side facing out in the next hole and then just do that twice. So on both sides you have two pins facing out. Okay? The next thing we're going to do is we are going to attach our uh, Technic bricks onto those pins. Again, making sure we don't put anything through that first hole because that first hole we're going to use in just a moment here, okay? So we have this, we have these Technic bricks on each side. Hey, okay? one other thing I wanna show you, pretty much this whole thing is gonna be built upside down the way it's gonna work out. So we have these studs that are usually the, the tops of Legos. Today, they are gonna be the bottom on all of these pieces. So basically what we want at this point, we wanna have these two uh, Technic bricks are a little bit higher up than our studless beam so there's like a little bit of a canal in here for our bolt to go into later. Okay, and then we need to add one more thing to the front. So I'm gonna add an axle to that first hole, that one we, that we left empty. And then I'm gonna put one of these bushings on each side just to help hold that axle in place so it's not sliding all over the place. And if you don't have an axle, you can use anything else. Basically, you just need something to stick out of both sides. Eventually, we're gonna put our rubber band on here. So we just need something to attach it to. Okay. For now, we're going to set that down, and we're going to work on the next thing. So we need our 
I said you needed four of the shorter Technic bricks. Okay, and we're just gonna make two stacks of two like this. As you can see, I'm holding them upside down again. We're gonna do that, that's our next step. And we're just gonna set those down for just a second. And now we're gonna get into this weird piece that I talked about with the two axle holes on this side. And then if you turn it 90 degrees, we have like the pinhole going that way. Okay, if you don't have this, I'll try to show you some things that you can do instead. But what we're gonna do, if you have it, you're gonna take these three stud axles and put them through there. If you have longer, if you don't have this exact size, it's fine, you can do longer ones. They'll just kind of stick out when we do our next step, which is taking these and we're just going to slide those into the top hole. Remember, we're holding this upside down, so the top hole is the side that doesn't have the studs in them. And yeah, if you use longer axles, they'll just stick out the side, but it doesn't matter. It's not going to get in the way at all. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we are going to take this and we are going to put it right on top on the front, right above where we put that axle before. So we're just going to attach it like that. And then you can kind of see there's going to be a hole right here that we're going to slide our bolt into later. We can see we can slide that straight back and it goes through okay uh one thing getting back to this piece on top that i was worried you might not have if you don't have it you can just put like bushings on each one of those axles or if you have more of those long pins you can put them on there all we really want is we're trying to attach uh these two technic bricks together and we want to have a hole in between there okay and i'll show you what that's going to be used for later so if it's a little bit wider it'll still work um just maybe not quite as well, but it'll still work. Okay, all right, let's finish this thing up because we are almost done. The next thing, we need our rubber band. To attach our rubber band, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're going to stick this around those. We're gonna put it on one axle, wrap it around the back of these Technic bricks, and then attach it to our other axle, okay? So that's gonna create this elastic so we can kind of see when we put this put our other studless beam through, it's gonna pull that rubber band back, and then if I let go, it's gonna shoot it out forward, okay? Uh, now the last thing, we want some control over when we are shooting. So what we're gonna do, we should still have one more axle that we haven't used, and you can kind of see that hole that's in the top on there, and then I have holes here on this studless beam, and what's gonna happen is, they're gonna line up. So when I push this through, it's gonna go through that first hole and it's gonna go through the hole that's on my studless beam and it's gonna hold it in place until I am ready to fire. Okay. That's it. That is all that it takes. I hope that you were able to build it. I hope that you had an awesome time here with me today. Go ahead and have fun. Happy Comic Con.